Better Yoshi! Ha ha ha! Froggy me! <laughs> hey everybody, Better Yoshi Pro Gamer here, and I am uh, going to be once again uh, going through a let's play of Mario Golf Advance Tour. Now, this time this will be different because uh, I hope to uh, use uh, better. T I hope to use better techniques and uh, um, you know try a, a better job at the overall let's play process. And uh, the game is now re-released for the Wii U Virtual Console. And with this, that allows for playing it on the console at a much, much, much higher resolution than before. So it'll look super nice. It'll look and sound super nice. As opposed to before, I used the Game Boy Player and I used a, a relatively crappy video program to try to put everything together. Oh, suspend point loaded. Okay. Yeah, maybe you'll see the intro again at uh, some point, but... It's nothing terribly special. Ooh, okay. So, right when you start... We're already in the process of uh, making a game character. Now, if you don't know, or you know the Mario Golf series, the con the console games are for the most part normal golf sims. Like Mario Golf is more like you know arcade golf sims. Um, and then you know you have your characters and you play on whatever courses, and then there's like tournament modes or whatever. But the handhelds sort of have a uh, a uh, an RPG element to it where. You start out as a, you start out as a, as a young character that has limited golf skills, and then by completing challenges and side quests and going across different golf clubs, you gain experience and you gain power, which can be transferred to the console games. In this case, it's conjugate as Mario Golf Toastal Tour. Now, unfortunately, since I'm playing it through Wii U Virtual Console, I will not be utilizing any of this connectivity with Mario Golf Toadstool Tour, but that still does not uh, detract from the uh, main game experience here in Advance Tour. So, if you're familiar with, like, Golden Sun at all, then uh, you'll sort of have a warm feeling as far as, you know, how this game plays through and in the way that the characters are and, like, all the text and dialogue and just stuff in general. So, before I ramble on too much, we make a game character. So, I get to be either a male or female. Yeah, sorry, I, uh, I don't want to be the weird... The only time I'm ever the female protagonist is, like, in Pokemon because it... I don't know, I feel it makes the story more interesting most of the time. Like, especially Gen 3, you know, it makes more sense to go through the game as May rather than, uh, Brandon, I think his name was. Uh, I'm a righty, so things are good. And, uh, I get to name myself. Oh, whoops, whoops, whoops. I press some buttons too fast. Right hand. Maybe just e erase, okay. My name is David, so... I'm just going to do that. Hmm, maybe there's a five character limit, or maybe it knows. Hmm, who knows. Maybe we meet again when you're a top golfer. Hmm. So here we are at this awesome castle-like place. You, we will learn later that is called that. Depending on who you talk to, it's either the the Marion Club or the Marion Club. So this is the Marion Club. It's so nice. All right. So there's me, and then there's this um, other kid. Then another kid. You two are sure full of energy. Now, I'm not going to embarrass myself too much with trying to, uh, impart to do impressions of females. That always turns out terrible, especially when I do anything other pertaining to Eartha Kit. I can't believe you guys raced all the way here. You're insane! Yep, and this time the victory was all me. Isn't that right, Helen? Wait, so, who's Helen? Oh, that chick. You notice always in, 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 like, RPGs, like, especially, like, ones of Japanese origin, characters tend to have weird hair. And they tend to, I don't know, like, usually they're the enemies. Like, we got blue hair, and we got green hair. Interesting. Whereas, Ella here and I are the normal ones. 
He probably caught up to you while you were getting all googly-eyed over Mario and Clubhouse. It was close. I thought for sure I had won that one. Talk about lame. You're right, Mario and Clubhouse must have mesmerized me. And look at how mesmerizing it is. It's a goddamn castle. Shell, why don't you bury the place? <laughs> You'll also love whenever, like, you know, um, sort of speech bubbles, like, in the form of expressions or what us modern kids call emojis pop up. Those are always funny. Always had a thing for medieval castles. Well, what, these kids are like 12 years old. How, what, mm, maybe they would have learned a bit about medieval castles in history class. Who knows? Teach, you're late. I can't believe you're this late. You weren't even toting the caddy bag. Uh, blah, whatever. He hasn't been here in a long... Uh, I... Okay, that must be a girl with the longer hair. I don't know. He hasn't been here in a long time. I bet he was looking around, you know, nostalgia. Boy, it has been a long time. Doesn't seem so long, but look how big the trees have gotten. Still, I see remnants of the course I was taught on, like the grown-up face of an old friend. This place is almost too nice! Is it out of her league? No kidding! We've only hit on the range here, we've never even come on the course! Ella, bite your tongue! The reason you've all been sweeting so well is because you practice diligently, am I right? Yeah, you'll, you'll come to discover that the characters here are just like... Severely over serious about everything, which that's very typical in an RPG. You know, if you've ever played Golden Sun stuff, you'll understand too. Which, if you don't have that for either Game Boy or uh, Wii U Virtual Console, download it, please. If I didn't think you were capable, I wouldn't have brought you here, understand? Stay confident, alright? I'm positive you can all become top notch pro golfers. Now the manager is likely waiting on us. Come with me. Alright, so here we are in the manager's office. Hmm, kid? Is this the same kid that was that, that like, that black boy in, uh, the original Mario Golf for the Game Boy Color? Okay. Long time no see. Hey pro, it's been a while, huh? Wow, he must have really been in retreat for a long time if his uh, complexion has paled so much. Uh, maybe I'm reading too much into it. When I heard you had gotten hurt and given up the game, I was mighty concerned about you. I'm really sorry I worried you, pro. I would have called. Actually, I knew the details of Kit's circumstances. Really? But you knew? Yeah, pro, I knew. It was shortly after Kid stopped coming around here, I contacted him. Come again? You called Bud? When Kid discovered he couldn't play his beloved golf anymore, he fell into despair. Shoot, I'm not surprised. If I found myself in that situation, I'd be a sorry sight. Hmm, kind of like Tiger Woods, you know. Bud really supported me when things were at their bleakest. All I did was tell him it was too early to give up on life's dream. Yeah, take a look around you and when the dialogue boxes, uh, you know, disappear if you can pick something up. I suggested he try training the golfer to rival the likes of Mario. To compete against a player like Mario, every golfer born dreams of having skills like that. True, Kid is one of the only- one of only a few golfers in the world to realize this incredible dream. When your pupils become the best golfers around, you'll know the pride and joy teaching brings. When Pro trained you and you reached Golf Pinnacle, even I tasted that fine feeling. My hope to experience my hope to experience that joy rests on these young golfers. I've already helped them master the fundamental golf swing. So they'll be competing soon? Not yet. They have yet to play a single round on this course. I see, Pro. Let's put kids' young pupils under your care now. Pupils. 
Let me introduce them. There's me, David, the second one from the left. Fuzz, on the left there. Helen, there. And Ella, who will become my partner. I tried my best to teach them everything I know. I hope you can refine their games from here. Take them on as trainees? Uh, I have no problem, but, uh, kid, what are you be doing? I've been resting for years. I've gotten good and healthy. You're saying? I think I'd like to relearn the whole game from the basics. So everyone's like, uh, what? So, like, um, uh, you sure what you're teaching us is, you know, good here? A true golfer is born only to golf. Pro is the one who taught me that wisdom. I know in my heart I am a true golfer and I will play again. Who masters the game first, me or one of the up-and-comers? Is it true doubles is popular? So, so here's the part where, you know, in addition to the uh, uh, single-player gameplay, there's, um, no, there's, there's also times where you can do, uh, you can play rounds and matches uh, with your partner in doubles format, and you alternate hitting the ball. And, you know, that gains exper experience for your characters as well. Do me a favor, take good care of them, they show promise. So now uh, our care is being deferred to uh, the staff at uh, uh, Marion Club here. We are new trainees at Marion Golf Club. We sh can use the club as we like, enter trainees, get experience. And as, as for any RPG or adventure, you know, go up and talk to people and learn things. Once we, I become the champ of this course, then I can move on to other courses. And, when all's said and done, I can play Mario. So, now as uh, you move around, and then you can hold the uh, B button to run, which that'll be kind of nice, you know, to transverse other areas uh, more efficiently. Checking the shelves and just ransacking the place. Hmm. Yeah, it's interesting. You know, the manager's equipment is scarcely used because they're probably so busy with running the course and everything. It's kind of nice there with the stained glasses and the you know globe lights and other neat stuff. You know, it's uh, nothing but confidence and drive distance, but it takes more than huge drives to win. You gotta make sure you hit solid iron shots. Oh, I thought he was gonna say something more suggestive, but oh well. I always get nervous before a match starts. Lounge. Yes, some some char some characters they'll tell you like interesting things like you know tricks with spin and power shots and other things like that, but. The memorial hall, so that's the so that's the area where you no know, trophies would be. You know, and go in there and glow and awesome stuff. Oh, okay, so I can't quite leave yet. Hey, you're one of the kids students. Some girl's been looking for you. Ooh, okay. Well we were all in the office before, so I go back. So we're a doubles team. I usually prefer singles, but I want to be doubles champ too. Kid didn't mention anything about this, and suddenly I'm paired with Buzz. Doesn't it make you nervous we have to compete against our teacher someday? Okay, so if I go there, okay. Uh, why do you say that I've been looking for you? I was just there. I was just talking to you. If you knew he was handing out room assignments... Ah, no one tells me anything. 
Wait, what? I wasn't- Club security is after me? <laughs> I think I'll like this chick. You know, she's told a pretty good joke here. I'm joking. No need to apologize. A room's waiting for you. Hmm. I find it- I find it interesting that, you know, we're paired up boys, girls here. You know, and like, we're in lounges and there's like... You know... Yeah. Although, to be fair, it's even more suggestive than, uh, uh, it's even more suggestive than, uh, uh, Mario Tennis Power Tour, but I might have to do that sometime, who knows, but, uh, yeah, that, in that, that whole intro scene, and then, like, you know, when I played as a male, and I'm, like, laying in bed in my underwear, and, like, then, then the girl walks in, and it's like, what, what the hell is going on? But, yeah, anyway, so that's, that's the, uh, caddy's booth, and we play, and you register for tournaments there. And then that's the way to the course. And then that pathway leads to the range and other practice areas, which we'll be going to soon. Yep, you know, it's kids all like, you know, awesome and everything, and uh... Yep. You can tell who the pros are, because usually they're... Yep, they all wear sunglasses, I was just about to say that. Practice centers there with all the uh, driving and the uh, approaches and the putting and everything. So we'll be going there later, but first to the lodge. It's kind of uh, kind of cool looking, you know. It's like some sort of a uh, log cabin duplex. Living in a top-notch lodge while training to be a top golfer, it's like a dream. Heck yeah. Especially, you know, the check as a partner. I mean, heck, you know, like, my college dorm wasn't even co-ed, you know? And this is frickin', like, I don't know. Kid may think, think of this as paradise, but we're here to practice really hard. This is almost kind of like Google, you know, where the work conditions are awesome as hell, but they expect you to work super hard. So yeah, there are our rivals. Uh, Ella's being a sass, you know. We don't plan on losing. Ah yes, and that beautiful uh, um, transition effect. Uh, why would there only be one bed? Um, David checked the wardrobe. Ooh, there's going to be an avalanche danger and. God, my club, my club, my bag is like bigger than I am. Some awesome stuff here. Oh, okay. So we got separate rooms. Aw. Oh. We'll start with singles. Just walk around by myself for now. You know what I, I could, I, something I could do to make the game easier off the bat? I don't know if you know about this. But let's see, let's see if the, the, the club shop's open. Inside this closet here, there's a ticket. Custom ticket A. I'm gonna go to my main man, Hephaestus, that's what I like to call him, you know, this guy doesn't really have a special name, but since, you know, he's all like a forger and just works with, like, metal and hammers and awesome stuff, I, I figure, yeah, naming him after the Greek god of smithing would be, uh, pretty awesome. So yeah, give me that, make you a sick set of custom clubs. Like, that, this guy's so awesome, all you do is you give him a ticket and he gives you a, a set of awesome custom, of, of awesome clubs. Let's go with the power clubs. Seriously, the power you know, the power clubs and the super power and the you know 10% extra distance with maybe a slight sacrifice in control. So worth it. Yeah, sir. 
because 200 yards is a little bit puny for a drive. It, all right, and then we just come come back and you can't wait to see how you rip it out. The custom clubs are made for you, or I don't know. Um, made to order clubs. Okay. So there's the lodge. All right, yeah, that's that's the course. We won't have time for that this episode. Okay, Joe, the club champ, he's on the putting green. All right. Well, I'm going to cut this episode short because, you know, it's just an introductory episode. But first, let's just walk around and take a look at the place here. You know, out to the right. That must be your main man, Joe. You know, he's in shades there. He must be a pro. There's a couple people on the putting green. Oh, okay, you can walk along there. It's kind of a hidden area. There's... There's the approach green, there's bunkers all over, and so you can do various challenges there, and then there's a path there, and there's a secret path there. We'll do that next episode. Yeah, there's a lot, uh, quite an assortment of stuff out here. Out this way, there's a, there's an extra range there, and then there's a pro there, so there will be challenges there. And then here's the range. So until next time, this has been Mario Yoshi Pro Gamer. This has been the first introductory episode of Let's Play Mario Golf Advance Tour via Wii U Virtual Console. And I hope that you will join me next time where we will conquer some of the uh, side challenges in uh, the Mario Golf Club. And maybe, if I have enough time, uh, play through the single tourney rounds. So, uh, thanks for watching, everybody.